guys, it's Alex from Chromaflex Reptiles. Uh, I know I haven't been around in a little while, but I wanted to give you guys a rundown on what I do nutrition-wise for my pegus. This is basically the prep that I do uh, every two weeks or so. Um, I will do squash and pumpkin, sweet potato and uh, grated up carrot, some parsley, collard greens, dandelion, uh, a couple of eggs. And unfortunately my store didn't have uh, ground turkey so they're getting a treat by having ground beef um, this time around. But I'm cutting it down with chicken breast that I'll be mashing up and smashing up and making nice and gooey. Uh, and they'll have a couple of fruits as a dish and they'll have some full fish uh, for their seafood. All right, everybody, uh, I did all the prep work and cleaned everything up so that this is a lot less long for you guys. Um, basically, I took the chicken breast and I diced it up really, really finely. Um, tried to get it kind of as mushy as possible to be able to mix it in with the, um, with the ground beef. Um, so basically in here we have our parsley uh, chopped up, we have our collard greens and our um, dandelion greens. And in here we have uh, shredded pumpkin, sorry my French took over for a second. We have shredded pumpkin, shredded carrot, uh, shredded apple, some finely diced uh, red pepper, and some pieces of mango as well. We have our mashed sweet potato in here, and our mashed acorn squash in here. So I'm gonna start by adding the beef in with the chicken. And I kinda go by feel, right? Like there, there's no set recipe. Uh, I do prefer to do veggies and stuff like that and do the prepping in batches. That way um, I have a Ziploc bag by the side. So any of uh, the veggies, squash, whatever I don't use, I'm just gonna be putting into a Ziploc bag and uh, freezing until I make another batch. Like I said, ground beef is a treat. They get it maybe, maybe twice a year. Um, they'll have venison maybe once a year. Uh, just a, a side treat for them. Give them something different different proteins, but it can be very hard on their liver and their kidneys. So it's something that you really want to watch out for and not make it more than just a treat. Now we're going to take our eggs. Oh, there we go. So I do the eggs and I crack the shell and I add the shell in here. Uh, shells are good for calcium. And the tegus don't mind it, it adds a crunch for them. It's, their food is kind of enrichment for them as well, right? The same thing for us if, you know, we're looking at a picture of something appetizing versus, you know, eating something, even if it tastes really good, if it's not appetizing, uh, we are less interested, typically. So I'm going to mix all of this up, see what consistency I get, and then start adding the vegetables, fruits, squash, uh, definitely the greens first to try to get as much of the greens in here as possible while making it into a consistency that I can roll up into balls into portions. Mind you guys, this is the first time that I'm doing this in this location because <laughs> my tegus have been sleeping for a while uh, and this is not my typical bowl that I use. Mine is usually much bigger so I don't know how well this is going to work for us. But we'll take this adventure together, shan't we? So 
So right now between the chicken, the beef, and the eggs, it's okay as a consistency, but not something I'm settling on. Um, I also put away the other fruits that I would typically give them uh, when I feed. Those I'll cut up the day that I feed and put them on the side of the dish. Um, Kila is the only one of my tegus that's picky when it comes to fruits and won't necessarily eat them, so that's also why I hide them inside these meatballs. Uh, Ruby is not picky at all. He'll eat pretty much anything that you put in front of him. Uh, he will eat bowls of vegetables, which is awesome, actually. So I'm going to take a handful of the greens. Oh no! Spill it. So I try to cut up the greens as finely as possible as well. It's just, it makes it easier for them not to pick through, right? They're kind of like kids, you've got to force them to eat properly. <laughs> Probably add in another half a handful. Leave enough for the next batch. Time to add in some of the shredded vegetables and cut up fruit. Again, for the most part, I'll just start off by adding in half of everything that I did. It's also easier to do it this way so that I'm shredding one full um, vegetable or, or the squash, preparing one full thing at a time. Um, makes it much easier for the next meal prep and uh, I'm not wasting as much food. To help with costs when it comes to the diet that I feed my tegus, uh, I will normally go to, um, to the butcher and see if they have any uh, meat that's about to go bad that they have at 30% off or um, the fishmonger same thing uh, fruit stands if you go to stores that uh, especially sell fruits and veggies you can typically ask them if they have anything that they're about to throw out and that's how I tend to keep my costs down when it comes to uh, the tiki feeding wow, those are looking really good sweet potato to add some flavor, some acorn squash. Uh, I also leave the skins on the acorn squash and the sweet potato. Uh, it doesn't hurt them and it adds another texture. So Generally, I'll feed them a couple, depending on the size and which ones I'm feeding, uh, I'll feed them a couple of these meatballs thawed out and I'll give them uh, either a piece of whole fish or a piece, a couple of pieces of shrimp, um, frog's legs, uh, snails, or whole prey. I'll give them uh, frozen thawed rats or frozen thawed chicks. Um, I also do have in my freezer some frozen, um, frozen African rock python babies that a friend of mine bred and was uh, forced to destroy. He gave them to me to be able to feed them to the tegus so that at least there was some value to their lives. Um, Tegus do in the wild naturally eat small lizards and snakes, so that keeps things interesting for them. Uh, Ruby also likes, oh this is about the consistency that I want. One ball. Uh, Ruby likes to eat um, frozen duck heads. Uh, I get them at a raw dog food place, 
uh, raw dog food or specialty pet food shop. Um, don't get the dry ones if you want to try this. Get the frozen ones. They'll have frozen rabbit legs as well and different, uh, different other parts that are, are fantastic, full of calcium, um, thought out to be the perfect size, perfect consistency. Oh my, I'm using that word a lot, aren't I? I keep making these meatballs bigger and bigger, uh-oh. Anybody else have that problem when they're making cookies or meatballs or something and you just keep making the sizes bigger and bigger? Not realizing it. So in my move, I uh, somehow threw out my baking sheets. So I'm actually putting these all out on plastic container lids and I'm going to stick them in the freezer. I'm going to keep a couple of them out to be able to feed to the tigers tomorrow morning when they all wake up. Give them some sliced up banana too and probably a small frozen dog rat each. It's breeding season right now so they need their added Oh no, that's what I forgot. Okay. Sorry guys, I got nervous while I was doing this and I completely forgot to add in, there we go. I forgot to add in the reptile multivitamins. as well as some calcium powder with vitamin D3. Don't worry, after this video, I'm gonna be washing everything that has chicken on it. All right, let's try that again, shall we? That's basically it. You guys generally get the idea at this point. You guys don't have to watch me remake meatballs. Um, if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. I will try to answer them as, uh, as much as I possibly can. If you guys have any suggestions of stuff that you want to learn, stuff that you're interested in knowing about my guys, then I'm more than happy to respond. But everybody, happy time with your tegus. Hope you enjoyed. And hopefully I gave you guys some ideas. Have a good one.